Okay, this is from my, our mother's jewelry. Um, this isn't. This was crocheted silk ribbon with the uh, little hairy yarn. Give it a little body. And this was mom, some of our mother's jewelry. And I made all but that to clip on and off. That one stays on there. Okay. This stays on there. And you bought that, that special for me? I bought that because she loves peacocks and red. I never saw a red peacock, but that's okay. And that that's actually a ring. Oh. And this was my, our mother's jewelry, and I made all of these to clip on and off so you can exchange them. You can take some off, make it. What kind of low clasp are those? The I think they're called lobster clasps. Okay. And I put a little extra chain on them just with little jewelry um, clips and stuff tools and this was our mother she loved them little tassely looking jewelry things and that also clips on and off but you just kind of uh, chain stitch all of this and make as many loops as you want mine's different I got actual peacock feather and different things got one of mom's gold leaves and her tassels on mine and this is just a clip on earring clipped and that's it okay doke okay. more uses for old jewelry now here is the neck piece that you saw in the video that Jackie had put together so I went through started going through some of my things and I came up with some yarn. This is called um, boa. This is what I had, so I don't know if I'm going to do it or let Jackie do it for me. I used this for a beard for some fun things I did before Christmas. Here's another yarn. It's kind of like an, I don't know, an eyelash yarn, but probably just about the same thing as Jackie was using. You can use anything you want. I had have a lot of uh, silk ribbons and trims as you can see. Hadn't thought about crocheting them together till I uh, saw what that little sister of mine had done. And then here are some more ribbons that can be um, crocheted. And used in those nice pieces. I found some of the lobster clasps that she's talking about and I'm sure you've seen these on some different necklaces and they open up so this would make a nice portable piece like she was telling you. This is another type that I have. You would attach a string or whatever here, but this one would not be so versatile because this would clasp onto the piece. But still, It's an option. There's this. I have jump rings in different sizes. Those will come in handy. I've been saving this. This was from a hair barrette. Might use this on something. And then I have these trims that I don't know if they would go onto this or maybe for a favorite quilt or something. This is an earring, and Jackie had an earring on hers, if you'll remember. That'd be portable. Just stick it on and off. And another one of those trims I picked up in my forays through different bead shops. Anything can be made into a pen. 
or if you already have a pen that can be used. You can turn anything into a pen, just glue one of these onto a pen back and that could also be pinned on. I have some different chain things and then I'd forgotten about having these but these would also work. These are um, clasp back earring backings. Glue a bead or button or anything on there and uh, that'll go on and off nicely. I've had a bunch of these things for years. Here's another one with a nice big uh, plastic back. Put something nice on there for the neck piece. And then this is another type that I have. Wouldn't have to just crochet regular yarn. This jute twine would be very interesting with certain beads. And then I had this chain that can be used with it. And then here's a twine, a craft cord. <clears throat> This can be used to crochet or just plain. And wrap it around so the possibilities are endless here. And Jackie gave me this also. That was mom's. Don't know if I'll take this apart or not. Don't think so. And uh bracelet to match. So mom's jewelry, she was a jewelry fanatic and we've tried to use it creatively and so that everyone could get some joy out of it. This is just one more thing that my sister came up with and so I'm showing it to you. Hope it gives you some good ideas.